world today i'm going to talk a little bit about what we have done to prepare um, our animals for the winter all that we did to prevent water freezing um, how to keep them warm and stuff like that so i'll be sharing for about goats ducks um, chickens um, we have two separate goat setups um, right here this is our doe barn The main thing you need to worry about for goats is making sure they're blocked for the wind. So we just keep pre fresh pine shavings down, uh, lots of hay, pine shavings on the floor, and they're good to go. Our bucks are on the other side of the property. I'll show those in a minute. I mean, yeah, in the winter we um, disconnect their automatic water, and we just go back to using buckets so that they can, um, so that the lines don't freeze and. They love the warm water in the winter time. It's kind of like a treat for them. I usually take it out twice a day in the morning and at night. So I just bring jugs in, fill them up from my tap, and take them out for them. Taking the top off them. And then when it gets below freezing outside, I start to use this bucket. This is a heated bucket that I purchased from Rule King. You can find them at most any farm store. You can see the cord has protective wire coating. The bottom is heated on this. So this is nice for when it gets real cold. They can't chew this cord or anything, so it won't hurt them. So now we're going to take our jugs down to the buck pen. Uh, this is on the other side of our yard. We have one buck and one weather in this pen and our buck really seems to enjoy the warm water when I bring it down. He always runs right to the bucket to start drinking, you'll see. The dough barn is more enclosed than the, than the buck pen. Um, they just got this little shed here so <clears throat> we had to run electric down here and they keep this we keep this bucket uh, heated bucket out all winter for them then i try to give them warm water twice a day because buckley here especially loves it he can't wait to get into it see he's already licking the bottles Yep, he can't wait. He loves it. He loves the hot water. Bo, dog, you mm. like cold water. Bo likes cold water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bo drinks the hot water, but he's not as fond of it as Buckley here. Buckley loves it. Buckley's got his winter coat in, and his fur's getting all long. So another thing for the um, goats that we do in the winter time is we try to make sure that they have um, good thick bedding in their shelters to keep them warm. Right so we um, put down lots of pine shavings inside and we also put down hay to keep it warm in there. And, um, we have the store on here, but we don't really use it because they do fine as long as they're out of the wind. I put that on there with plans to lock them up, but um, later learned that it's not really good for their respiratory systems. They can get pneumonia and things if they're locked in a confined space. So we just keep that door open. Um, sometimes if it's really cold, like a blowing, um, rain or anything, I'll close it so that they have a place to keep dry. 
they've got this shelter that comes out over their pen. And then their shelter is IBC totes that we cut the sides off and it's joined. We just cut the sides off and then screwed it back on there. So they got a pretty good little spot in there. It's worked out good for us. This will be our first winter with either of the goats. Um, these boys were born in June, so they're still babies. And then our girls will be a year old in January. We got them uh, this past March. And the boys have really fluffed up since it's gotten cold though. Um, they look a lot fatter because their fur is all fluffed up for the winter. They get an undercoat to keep themselves warm. So they have their own natural ability at, to some extent to keep themselves warm, but we do what we can do to help them. We don't have a buried electric um, run down here to the goats. So we put this, the cord through this pipe in here that comes into their pen to protect them from chewing on it. And then their heated bucket has that um, wire protector. So they can't chew on that. Hey, you got a trap one Yeah. For our ducks for the winter time, we didn't have to do a whole lot to cut them because they don't really mind the cold weather. We just have to um, keep their pond water thawed out. And we just use these little heaters for that. And this is the drinking water. I'll show you how we keep it thawed. We have these little heaters that sit down in there. This is our chicken run, and back in the back there is our automatic chicken water. That's what we use in the spring, summer, and fall months, and it's really nice because you just hook a water hose to it. And in the winter time, I switch to using um, just regular waterers like this one here this uh water has a plug-in on it so it heats directly and then the other one here i've got a heated base underneath and it's supposed to be used with metal water so i've got a barrier in between these two to keep, prevent from melting the plastic um, another thing i use is this thermo cube here and i purchased this from Amazon. You can find them. I've seen them at Rule King. I'm not sure if other farm stores have them or not, but it turns on at 35 degrees. Whatever you plug into it will um, come on at 35 degrees, so it doesn't run all the time. It saves on electricity, so that's really nice to have. The base under this large water here, it has a thermostat in it, so it only comes on at 35 degrees, so it doesn't have to be plugged into a thermocube. And then the big thing that has really helped me this year um, that I did different is, is we have taken this 55 gallon um, barrel and we're using it for our water. It's set up right beside of our chicken coop so that I don't have to worry about bringing over a water hose if it's below freezing. I've got a, um, show you this heater in the bottom of it. It's a de-icer, plastic tank de-icer, so it's safe for plastics. And um, that way I can just pull their, pull their buckets, the ducks buckets, chicken buckets out here and just turn this nozzle here and fill them up. And it has been a lifesaver. Um, I love it. This, of all the things we've done, something simple and easy has really helped me out because in the winter time, dragging this water hose over, trying to fill up buckets was really a nightmare, especially when they would freeze and I'd have to 
take the waters inside and fill them up, and they're very heavy. So this right here has been a lifesaver for us as far as winter prep goes. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos from my little farm.